How's it going YouTube? I thought I'd show you a close-up of this Farnsworth. Um, there's the front panel. That's all original. Um, basically it was refinished except for this front panel. I'm missing two knobs. Those two big ones are not original, but there is the Farnsworth name. And I'll just show you. How, this is an interesting unit because of how you service it. Let me show you in the back. It's basically got a grid there and I don't know if you can see it but all a lot of the controls are viewable or accessible from slots in the back and then here's a really neat thing is you lift it up like an old stereo flip up cabinet and just to show you side there's the round picture tube uh, all the old tubes a horizontal section which was a separate chassis and in the back there hopefully you can see the high voltage section but yeah it's not the original picture tube there's no ion trap it's an original Farnsworth yoke and it's functioning right now I got a couple labels there unfortunately missing the speaker but there you go here's a close-up of a Farnsworth 651P, one of the first TVs for sale in North America, built by Farnsworth. You don't get to look at many of these very often. And uh, let's see if I can do this. There's the model number. I don't know if you can read that. <clears throat> you can see there's no eye on trap, so it's not the original picture tube. And I'm missing the speaker. But there you go, a functional Farnsworth. See if you can see. There you go, here's the uh, everything lit up. Needs recapping for sure, because like I said, <coughs> it drifts. And you can see what's happened to the picture just since we've been playing with it. So, anyways, have a good one, YouTube.